And we wish we had a lot more of these. That buzzing of hungry honeybees is what Jace Dara hoped he'd find when he opened all of his beehives. Instead, he discovered half were dead, another third may not survive. <laughs> well, we're not going to cry because we got to we gotta recover, um, but that means a tough year. And so why are they dying? For us, I would say our primary reason is uh, due to mites, the Varroa destructor. Last year's early spring and the long hot summer meant the parasites got a foothold in his hives. In Alberta, Manitoba and Ontario, producers are already reporting average losses of 40 to 45 percent. In Saskatchewan, 30 percent. And in Quebec, an average of 60 percent of the bees died over the winter. If we don't have enough bees, let's say, to pollinate seed canola, that impacts uh, 22 million acres on prairies. One solution? To import more bees. But right now, they can only be brought in from three countries. Canada banned imports from the U.S. three decades ago over fears of new parasites. This one right here is dead. This Alberta beekeeper says it's time to open the border. There is a perceived difference in disease profile between bees in Canada and bees in the mainland United States. However, that science has become razor thin. Jace Dara is trying to keep his remaining honeybees alive, but says stock from the U.S. may be his only hope. It could save our industry. It could save a lot of farmers' livelihoods. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency says honeybee imports have to be controlled so they don't pose a risk to Canada's beekeeping industry or human health. But the department says it is working with the industry to find some options. Karen Pauls, CBC News, near Enola, Manitoba.